What are some things I should do before I get fired on Friday? I'm at the end of my PIP. My manager has already reassigned my work and has hired my replacement. I have a meeting with him on 9 a.m. on Friday. I've accepted defeat and decided to take a road trip to see the national parks before summer is over. I'm pretty devastated but at least I can collect unemployment until I find the next THJNG. Edit. This is my first time I'm getting fired in my 20 years of working. I don't know if I'm eligible for unemployment. What are some things I should do to wrap up? Like change over emails to personal for 401k. Cash out my FSA. Etc. 100% use any medical benefits you have. Get your glasses. Go to the dentist. Refill as many prescriptions as possible. Take all info from your work computer email you need. Delete all personal stuff from work computer. Log out of everything personal you've ever signed into. Clear cash. Clear cookies. Clear auto field filling. If you have your work email on your 401k, absolutely change it. Get all your expenses submitted for your FSA, even if you need to go shopping to create some additional expenses. You gain nothing by leaving money behind. If there are any decent co-workers or managers at the company, network with them. They will often know people at other employers. I think you're feeling sick on Friday. And Monday too. Show up to the meeting late in the most obnoxious beach-ready outfit you got. Gather evidence for unemployment. They're going to claim you've been fired with cause since you've been on a PIP and haven't shown. Improvement. In most states, if you've been fired with cause, you are ineligible to collect unemployment. If you have evidence that they're firing you for another reason, particularly a protected reason, like race, gender, sexual orientation, etc., you need to save that evidence. The burden of proof is on the employer. So you've got to hope they don't have all their ducks in a row. But they probably do. Regardless, I'd be trying to make sure the unemployment stuff was all sorted if I were you. Download all pay stubs and W2S. You may not have easy access to portals after that get copies of all of your HR records if you can. Send them to yourself if you may have a discrimination or other unfair labor practices claim talk to a labor attorney and don't sign any paperwork at offboarding. Just having a lawyer may motivate them to pay severance. If it's a river-based tech company and you're being piped out before scheduled back-end loaded. Vesting. Make sure your lawyer knows that because it's a common bad faith practice in this particular company doesn't want that in court. They'll often pay you out. Find out details about signing up for COBRA if you're going for that and different options available. Claim any expenses you can possibly claim. Make sure your company email is off your HSA, 401, K, etc., and it flips over to your personal contact info. Make sure your address is up to date with HR for any paperwork, tax forms, etc. They send. Good luck. Put this comment on another post in another sub months ago. Much of it is still relevant. If you have use of a work computer and had been doing anything personal on it, scrub it off. Upload stuff to Google Drive etc. Log out of any sites you may be logged into. Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. And then delete your history being sure to also delete all saved passwords. Slowly remove any personal items you may have. Leaving the most conspicuous stuff for last basically move towards making it so the day you are walked out the door, you can do so empty-handed and aren't leaving anything behind that you want to retain. If you have any PTO, take it now. So many companies now are refusing to pay out all or any unused PTO. My former employer was known to cancel any PTO someone had scheduled previously if they put in Notice and that PTO would occur during the notice period.
If you have health insurance that covers visits and meds, call and get a refill on all your meds for the longest duration possible. Try to get in for any visits that may be free or of vastly reduced cost to you. Annual checkups are items that fall under preventive maintenance if your plan has that. Examples I've seen in the past would be pap smears, annual checkups, dental cleanings, vision tests, etc. If you have kids, get those annual well visit checkups. Obviously not all this will apply to everyone's situation. And you may not be able to accomplish everything. So prioritize if you have to. CYA is the phrase of the day. Every day. Yep. Plan your exit appropriately. If you can, ask for references within your team. It's still a bit early in the week. If your employer offers free industry training like Pluralsight, take advantage of it. Update your work profiles. On this should wrap up your issue into a Walmart tote to store away until you are ready to crack. The lid open again. Take lots of pictures. Don't attend the Friday meeting. If he takes issue, what's he gonna do? Fire you? Get a .csv download of all your contacts. And send it to personal email. Glad I did this as I needed some of the external contacts I made at that job at a later one. Leave well regardless of what is said. You never know who and when you will run into these people again especially if you are intending on staying in the same field. Secondly, exchange contact information with people you may want to keep in touch with or even better. Potentially steal to take to a new place of employment. Delete any personal files, any pay stubs, mortgage info, credit card info etc. and all your emails. Delete all your saved passwords. Don't sign any agreements on the spot if presented with one. You aren't required to sign anything if they are terminating your employment. They can't legally withhold your final paycheck if you refuse to sign a document. Seriously, don't sign anything. Any document they present during a termination meeting should be regarded with immediate distrust. Thursday, hide as many frozen prawns as you can in hard to find places. Be ready to fight for unemployment. They will sometimes place people on a pip to fight an unemployment claim later. Tomorrow, reach out to HR for corporate help with your drinking, drugs, or other substance issue. You either won't be fired, or won't have to work again. Take an emotional support clown to the meeting. Also phone in pocket set to record the firing meeting. Make sure you have copies of all pay slips. You may need them to apply for a house loan in the future or for tax reasons. Raid the office supplies. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.